course, we're giving you more time. So our lines will be on screen very early uh, so that you can be calling in uh, uh, to discuss more of the sports uh, stories uh, right here on West Nile Television. Owen Ezaga is my name and, of course, the host for the Whistle Time tonight. I have Benson Pastore. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Owen Ezaga. Good afternoon, all the viewers outside there. It's interesting, interesting Tuesday. A lot of things are happening in the world of sports here mm -hmm. locally. They are happening also in Europe. They are happening like you have already given in one of the highlights, Manchester United yesterday night, Monday night football, had to beat Wolves by a goal to nil. It was their open game of the season, plus a lot of the stories. And one of the semi-finals of the ongoing Women's World Cup has already come to an end. Spain, for the first of its kind, they already threw to the finals. Either waiting for Australia or another team to face the, the other same final match is tomorrow and the finals will be played on Sunday. Meanwhile, the third playoffs final will be played on Saturday plus the other transfer sagas that continues to happen. Just a lot as we break for you the stories into the analysis. Of course, the way the wait for that is uh, the, 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 the uh, three Lion ladies. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the England team or Australia. It's a very big one that we should be waiting to see, but of course we shall come to that. Let's get to some of the local scene stories right here, where of course top stories are coming in there. Indicates uh, Alpha Sally yesterday when we talked about uh, the father or the, the, the son to, uh, of course, Sally, uh, that is B.A. Uh, Bepul, uh, a.k.a., who, of course, uh, his son has gone to Express Football Club. Now, this is uh, a 19-year-old boy who has crossed over to Express, and this is he's going under a coach called uh, James O'Dodge. Will this yield out for him? Will he get something out of this? Of course, uh, that's one big thing I wish still trying to find out. Yeah, Alpha Sari, he has been a very good player for Paul. And as you have said yesterday, we discussed a lot about him. We are waiting to see where he will end up. And if you look at the X. Express, I always love saying that they are one of the biggest clubs if you talk about Ugandan football. Though of late we have seen the likes of KC, URA, you talk about Vipers, they are trying to overpower the rest of the big teams. But Express, to me, that's a very good decision being taken by the player himself plus the agent to see that he crosses over to the camp of Express. 19 years of age, still a teenager, which means he still has got a lot of things to develop in the world of football. But playing for Express, I know is going to add exposure for him because Proline already playing the third division of Ugandan football, regional league in the central part of Kampala. He now feels that because he has done it a lot for the team of Proline, it's the right time for him to go and try it, try it elsewhere. But going to Express, to me, I don't see it as a bad decision being taken by the player and also the, 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 the agent himself. Impressed is uh, the man by the names of uh, James Odochi. He said he's going to give him enough time uh, to, of course, uh, see that he is still a young player. He can get uh, there and he feels he's going to be adding more into his uh, uh, career. So he doesn't need to rush him uh, for any of the issues that will probably will be coming right there. And that's one big thing uh, we should be expecting from Alpha Sally probably to do uh, or to provide more for that is express after he had mm -hmm. the switch right uh, there. But I think it's a good addition uh, getting from the experience of the lower. And because he had a long time in the junior league mm. over that is express uh, i mean i mean as pro line that's where he grew up from that's where largest football under mm. mujib kasule now he is getting to uh, that is uh, the express team a senior uh, club uh, express is called mkwano wawanji that's mm. the name that has been given to them mm. uh, there was also a time that they were called uh, the mainja uh, meaning, of course, the stone team, because by then their fans used to be so arrogant mm -hmm. in a way that they could always uh, throw stones at people. So mm -hmm. those are some of the things that probably uh, you can know express all. But of course, one of the legendary clubs that have been here for quite a long time in uh, Uganda, uh, including, of course, the Sports Club Villas that have been uh, right there. Sports mm -hmm. Club Villa yesterday took a twist in uh, restructuring, mm -hmm. of course, launching in their website also. The fans' website also came through. Uh, so that's one big thing uh, that has been happening okay let's move away from there and uh, look at uh, what exactly is also coming through from uh, that is uh, Arua City Arua City mm -hmm. have uh, gotten a new head coach and uh, of course yet to start so they are open to trials from tomorrow for Arua City last season was not all that a good one for them in the West Nile Regional League in Nyagakizon they came close 
but they could not do it because some of the teams that comes from greater Nebi region, we are giving hard times for them. We yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. Paida, Black Angels, Paida United, Pakwati youngsters of this world. And uh, I remember in one of our shows, we hosted the chairman for the club. He said they, they are giving uh, the, this coming season for the club to see if they can be person to cross over to the next league of Ugandan football. We are talking about sometimes FUFA big league. The money is there. Everything is there. The only thing remaining for the club is to see how how they are going to handle the stress on the administrative issues but going for a coach i think that's a, a, a very powerful thing i that's a very early decision taken by the club to see that they bring a new coach into the system such that the coach can be able to spot the players that he wants to the, the, that he wants to be into his system it also gives that enough time for the coach to see how can he can be able to assemble the team but all in all a very good decision early decision being taken by the club to see that they bring the coach early Okay, it's a very big one. We're waiting to see what exactly needs to be added on to mm. that is the books of uh, Rua City. Uh, but of course, they're trying to strategize and mm. are looking forward to see that the board is looking forward to see who is who to come where. Mm. And those are some of the big things that are coming up right there. So let's wait and see how the team will be, uh, of course, uh, goat and how exactly the team will also be pushing in uh, right there ahead of the games that, that are coming uh, through. Uh, the regional league is not an easy game because. Mm. Probably, uh, talk, just look at the Navy Old Springs. Mm -hmm. They're already preparing. They are playing games. They are doing. The team is already together. That shows mm -hmm. how exactly they're ambitious. Mm -hmm. How exactly they want to get into some of the ways that proper will be coming. Uh, but for for, 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 for for the rest of the clubs, they're still waiting. Yep. Paida is strategizing. They, mm -hmm. uh, you've seen them do play games that they have tried looking for money, mm -hmm. uh, getting here and there, uh, doing events, because they want to generate early money so that they're not affected in the travels here yeah, and there. Exactly. And that's one thing that I expect also others. Uh, yes, Arua City is all about the city mm -hmm. council that mm -hmm. they are looking at. Uh, maybe that will be facilitated. But why don't you stop them, uh, start them early? So that is what they thought of. And they have gotten into what is called um, the games. Mm -mm -mm. The games, where of course uh, they, 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 they want to structure now. The for the games, they are going to be playing friendly games. Mm. They are going to be having pre-seasons. Mm. They are having an open, uh, of course, trial that is going to be at Salim Salim Grounds, I think. Mm -mm -mm. That's according to what the, uh, the document says. So we are expecting a lot from Arua City Football Club. Yeah, speaking about some of the clubs that they are currently preparing ahead of the new season, you have mentioned one club by the Black Angels. To me, I think it will be the same if they continue to stay in the West Nile Regional League because they are a club that they have already uh, that they have already proved themselves as one of the biggest clubs we have in here in the region. They got relegated to West Nile Regional League. They need to go to either start times for a big league or else go to start times Uganda Premier League. But for the rest of the clubs, I know uh, eyes might not be uh, uh, about them, but. We also talk about the uh, city. They have been so quiet and don't go in the summer transfer window. We never know. The fact is, most of these regional league clubs, they always do their transfer in closed doors. Unlike some of the few that will always come and put things on the table, like by the Black Angels, we have just mm -hmm. talked about. Anything that transpires at the club, you always see it floating on the water. In Nebi Central, they are doing their things and they are letting the public to know. Gruva Rainbow, they are quiet. Mvara Boys, they are relegated. They are quiet. Uh, uh, as I said, some of them they do their businesses in, in a closed doors at the, at the beginning of the season. You will see new faces, but for Arua City, it's a different case. They are one of the biggest clubs currently in, the, in Nyagaki Zone, West Nile Regional League, and they are based in City. Football is not all about money. Though, in one of the statements, I said they have in the money, but what people need from you is the result. Can you be able to put the points on the table? Is what people are demanding from you. What you want to say, what I want to say in summary about Arua City is they need to come publicly and the fans will be able to know what is transpiring at the, cl at the club, whether signing players or is doing what, they should let the public to know about it. Okay, and now that's one big thing that we are looking into and uh, I want to say that uh, the team is getting ready, but mm. all in all, um, you would see that uh, the way teams are intensifying, mm. uh, their recruitment, their structuring and the rest, what are we expecting this season's re uh, regional league, which of course exclusively will be on West Nile television live come 2022 uh, to I mean, 2023 2024 season right there that is after a strong MOU mm -hmm. with uh, the region or the West Nile Football Federation Association right there. now this is a mm -hmm. big one. If you look at the both zones, both Nyagaki zone and Nile zone, there are some there are some teams that tried the last season 
from Nile zone, I may talk about Odamatako Central, you mm. talk about Araka, they failed at the closing edges and they failed that they already doing massive recruitments, no special Araka. For the, some of the teams that go that went up to the play of Scotch Urban, they will have to be very careful to see if they can be able to perform the way how they, they performed the last season. For Araka, more special in Nile zone, I'm looking at the four teams, Total FC, Coach Urban, that gave headache, headache to most of the teams. Odamatsako Sendor, we should not forget about them. Not forgetting about the newly promoted side, that's Total. Meanwhile, on the side of uh, Nagaki Zone, the teams we have already talked about, Aru City should be included in the list. You talk about uh, Nebi Sendor, Nebi Hot Springs, uh, Pakwati Youngstars, another side, a strong side. That came, I, I think, they finished second in Nagaki Zone. So it's going to be massive, it's going to be massive. And also in Nile Zone, a German Town Council is coming back. It's going to be more of fun, so we are just waiting for the season to come. No room for complaints, see, and that will be one big thing that we should mm. be expecting from all the clubs, and that means that it's going to be interesting uh, to you, uh, the viewer, to follow it live on West Nile Television, all the updates that will be coming in the West Nile region. We're expecting, uh, of course, a summoning of the West Nile province team mm. uh, soon, according to you, that is the media officer, of, uh, that is a team, uh, of course, uh, the team of... Uh, uh, the team of, uh, uh, of course, the team of uh, the province, yeah, Toko Badru. And at the same time, uh, teams still keep restructuring. As I talk right now, uh, Medical Cavalry is also doing restructuring. Mm -hmm. As I talk right now, they have been for an open uh, training. Uh, where of course they were also searching for talent. Mm -hmm. And all in all, now they have closed their training session and they have sent all those that were there home to now put a real proper structure to make sure that they get into that is the team of uh, they get into uh, the, the play mm -hmm. they get into what is called uh, the, 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 the how do I say they get into this the, the planned arrangement mm -hmm. for the games uh, preparations uh, that means that everyone will be and the camp I think that is me to go uh, to see that they have that game so it is one of the biggest thing that is coming in there what do you expect for me, the Calvary, it's a different, it's a different case. Why am I saying so? You talk about uh, these clubs that are based in West Nile region. To me, I would say Calvary is one of the best clubs in terms of preparation. You always see them preparing early whenever the new season is getting on the way. You look at how they are planning things, and they have also gone on to sign one or two players into their system. And um, they went for a new coach after Dudu Bosco leaving them, not even lasting for two weeks. They unveiled the new coach. That's so that one shows how potential they are for the new season. So to me. In fact, the teams that are based in Yumbe district, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased. They are always, they are always organized ahead of the new season. They have already spent two seasons in Star Times Uganda, Star Times FIFA Big League. They think that the upcoming season might be theirs. And that one cannot come easily. It cannot come automatic. It needs a lot of preparation, both from the administrators, talking about the players, not forgetting about the fans. But what they are doing, according to me, is in a brilliant way. Okay, it's in a brilliant way, according to you. That is uh, Benson Pastore. Uh, yeah, they are looking forward. Of course, the coach is there. The setup has been uh, made, and uh, we're expecting a lot from there. Not only them, mm -hmm. of course, there are big league teams that are there. Black Power is also strategizing. Mm -hmm. But in West Nile, you could also see that uh, teams like Ondo Paraka Football Club are strategizing. Mm -hmm. um, today, of course, uh, took, you took a more walk, mm -hmm. and uh, you came back like more than 40 players were mm -hmm. training, and, and that's one thing uh, that shows you that uh, uh, Onduparaka Football Club is also strategizing mm -hmm. to see that this club uh, pushes in there, and uh, they are trying to, of course, allocate every department mm -hmm. and see what exactly comes out of right there. So it's all uh, what we should be expecting in there. How are you rating the FUFA Big League this season? FUFA Big League, in our region, I know most of the fans, they are going to follow Star Times FUFA Big League, leaving aside Star Times Uganda Premier League. For, for Star Times Uganda Premier League, they will be having very few fans in the northern region, but for, for the Star Times FUFA Big League, the fan base is going to be massive. Why am I saying so? You look at the number of clubs that are going to participate in the FUFA Big League come this season. You have got on the Paraka, that's still fresh from Star Times Uganda Premier League. The fan base is there. You talk about Black's Power, the wrangle is going to be there with the teams that are coming from West Nile region. We have just talked about Calvary. They are preparing in a massive way. So it's going to be more 
part of a competitive game. You look at Jinza North United after seeing that in the same page they are turning promotion with the Mbara City to the top tier. They have gone for him and you look at the players they are signing. It's going to be massive according to me. Star Times FUFA Big League of this season will be more interesting than Star Times Uganda Premier League, more special for the Northerners. Let's wait and see how exactly that will be. But of course, uh, in Northern region, you still have a team or a place mm. called uh, Black's Power mm -hmm. in Big League. You have uh, Onduparaka Football Club, you have Calvary. Northern Uganda is doing well. You mm. have uh, the newly promoted, what's that team's name? The one that. Uh, uh, the, the, the recent that uh, went against, uh, was it Coach Yaban? Uh, Elef young, young Elephant. Elephants, young exactly. Elephants. You're adding more names in mm. uh, Northern Uganda. Yeah, someone would say football made in uh, Northern Uganda. And uh, it, 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 it is my will to see that uh, Northern Uganda has more numbers mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Or get more clubs mm -hmm. into the Uganda Premier League or the start times Uganda mm -hmm. Premier League. Mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that this goes on uh, the movements also is also limited a little mm -hmm. bit mm -hmm. uh, for some people and it, it, it also helps a lot in clubs. Uh, just imagine all these clubs, let's say Onduparaka, Calvary, uh, maybe one side, uh, Black's, uh, Power. Black's Power or even um, Young, Young Elephant, all finish where they're needed. Okay, normally they take three. Yeah, they take the three. top three finish and they're from Northern Uganda. What would be really the, uh, the happiness? And you oh. only start times Uganda Premier League? Oh, obviously, it will add the uh, viable in terms of football in our region because that's what people are yearning for. People are expecting so many clubs from the region to go to the top tier of the Ugandan football. But we need to do a lot to see that we send so many clubs and I am wondering where our Katakas are going to finish. You talk about Boma, Karo Karunji of this world, they suffered a lot. When you talk Last about week. Karo Karunji and uh, uh, you make me uh, think of my producer, uh, Jonathan Opaka. <laughs> he was like, why is it always Karo Karunji that is uh, losing? Why is it always they're not winning? I remember uh, that time when uh, the big league was running on. Uh, but uh, I think, yeah. They're also strategizing. Uh, yeah, they it's are just that they're mm -hmm. silent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fact is, most big uh, league clubs are silent. Mm, it's true. They're it's not true. making any noise. Mm. Unlike, uh, unlike, of course, you're going to be seeing. You saw, uh, okay, the big league, uh, like on Duparaka that mm -hmm. made, and uh, you saw how exactly things went on. A a apart from these ones that are based in West Nile, which we always follow closely, mm. I think teams uh, that are always putting everything on the table is the police. See? Yeah, I, 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 police, also. Look, By the way, police is going to be give, uh, giving hard headache mm. because they're adding in more experienced players it, who have even played into the Uganda Premier League. Mm. Each and every time they are, they are unveiling a new player, you'll always see the story all over. But maybe, all in maybe, all, maybe, maybe other clubs have not started. They will also start unveiling one by one, and you see maybe one, the one by <laughs> one. We all are left with their mouth because there are two things uh, for clubs now mm. in uh, aspects of PR. Let me mm -hmm, give you mm -hmm, a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you will always there's there are ways you people do exactly they want to see what the other uh, ones have, mm. have has done mm. they want to do it in a different way mm. they don't want to be similar to the rest exactly Not every there are clubs that are both players mm. but they have never unveiled them it's true it's you true. see them they surprise you with players mm, it's true. on pitch mm. so there's no way you're going to say that your tactics is going to work mm. Because you know you're an individual player. Mm, no. Mm, 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 mm. So those are some of the tricks that, are, of course, clubs use to make sure that there's confidentiality. Mm, mm. So uh, those are some of the things. But uh, I feel, yeah, sometimes they also put there to hype the club. Mm, mm, mm. Every player you sign and you put in there, that is a hype already. Mm, 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 mm. So uh, just imagine uh, Nduparaka already, it's just rumor, 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 rumor of a junior. Mm. But if they put it, Already the hype was already there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how exactly it is. Just imagine Calvary saying, okay, here yeah, we have this, this. They have signed players, mm. but they have not unveiled. Exactly. That means they have only, we, we only saw them renewing contracts mm. of the two. Mm. And are you telling me that's the only deal? No, of course. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things, but I want to say big league clubs have been suffering. Mm -hmm. They have been struggling for also club licensing issues. Mm -hmm. Don't get surprised when Federation of how the licensing committee comes out and says some of the clubs have not submitted. You see, our Nezaga, there is one thing I've ever been observing with the Ugandan clubs. The way they do their things, they, most of them do their things in a professional way. That has been the problem and that is also one of the reasons as to why 
some people don't take that time to follow what is transpiring in every club, like how they follow things which are happening in these clubs in Europe. Most of these things they are done in a pro and professional way, and you always see transfer angle emerging between a player and a, and a club like that one between media and. A, a regular sports club. That one shows how prof unprofessional they do their things. But I always say this is Ugandan football. We are still far apart from these other clubs that are based in the other parts of the world. Our numbers are going to be on our screens. You would call us and discuss any question you would want to ask. Yes, we shall be getting it back to you. Uh, of course, uh, though it is uh, on the screen, please, mm -hmm. you will call in the second half. And uh, call Ali. And yesterday people missed uh, because they wanted to talk to us but they missed so mm -hmm. i would request you call ali so that you give us your view where are you watching and what exactly your concern will be mm -hmm. and today's question is uh, what how okay let's say mm -hmm. what percentage did you rate the manchester united game against Wolves Hampton wanderers to me mm -hmm. we shall give that in the international stories mm -hmm. but to you what do you think what exactly let's analyze together with you the viewer follow find out what exactly it was and how exactly you think mm. the game's ready let's leave that there mm. there's uh, a big moment that uh, mm. Mitchell Martin Sedovic mm -hmm. uh, some of the 30 man squad uh, that will of course be uh, facing that is uh, Niger or mm. Niger for mm -hmm. those who would call mm. uh, that game is going to be one of the games but there are some names that have come through mm. uh, and in his speech he was like uh, it is all about the final product it is a campaign that of course they have entered in and they will be looking forward to see that these games go on so a couple of names have been called into the national team and uh, the team will assemble he said in Mar 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 marachi in mm. morocco mm. Uh, on, that is the uh, third and uh, fourth of september couple of names have been called uh, even those who have missed before have also been called back into the team so we're expecting a lot what do you say about the team 30, 30 plus players been summoned out of those ones they will only take provisional spot and they will summon 25 25, 25 25 and out of those 25 Final man squad. In fact, there's Bevis Mugabe and mm -hmm. Timothy Wani who are back into the squad. Uh, uh, and, and that one is going to boost the squad. It's going to be. And not forgetting Isaac Muleme. Uh, Isaac Muleme. Yes. These are one of the best players Uganda has been having. They missed because of one or two reasons. Others missed because of injury. But to me, the new faces that they are going to be into the team of Uganda Queens will add, will be, will add a lot of motivation into the team. But the game up against Niger or Niger will not be an easy one for. Uganda Cranes, ask me why. Niger knows that the back-to-back -back games they played with the team of uh, the lost to Niger, they, know they lost to Tanzania, they were beaten by Algeria home and away, and this is the last game for them in their group. Though they are already out of the race, they will, they will at least want to pick something up against Uganda, given the fact that Uganda, when it comes to away games, they have not been performing well, but this one is a home fixer for Uganda. I always love saying Uganda, when it comes to closing edges, that's when you will see the disappointment, disappointment part of it. But this comes the statistics ahead of the game. Uganda will have to make sure that they beat Niger and Corps. Tanzania loses points into the hands of that Algeria. Will it be happening? So that's what we are waiting to see. But all in all, given the fact that we have seen new faces into the team, we still have a chance. But I am not seeing Uganda cranes going past. Okay. That's the question I was going to ask you because Uganda is well known for its mathematics and uh, as Uganda can they do something this time around to prove Milosevic Mitchell mm. needs to do a lot because they, it is a must win for Uganda. So mm -hmm. for those watching I want to say it's a must win for Uganda <laughs> if they don't win. Uh, we shall say come back. Let's do our normal ways and uh, we become as usual mm. as Ugandans. Uh, so that's one thing. Okay. Uh, on that Federation of Uganda Football Association has also uh, geared up uh, the intensity in uh, upgrading or lifting up the face of uh, Technical Center in Jeru, that is the FUFA Technical Center, mm. and uh, they have put in a very good pavilion in a way, of course, they, are, they look has changed because of the Sekafa, uh, of course, uh, senior and uh, junior competition that is taking place. Engineer Moses Magogo, okay, honorable Engineer Moses <laughs> Magogo Hasim did say something. He said, the more these games come, the more it helps them to develop these facilities. Why is it when international or 
continental games are coming. Why don't you do this early and these things find you? Uganda is, Uganda is always on pressure, on tense pressure, whenever they, they are hosting home games. We have witnessed this one for several times. That's why when it comes to a very big game, you always see the games being shifted away from home. And it's true, whenever a time for a, a, a very big game is approaching, that's when you will see them renovating or well, setting up the facilities. Currently, if you take a look at the pitches, I may not say stadiums because Uganda, are there having stadiums real? I don't think. The pitches there. Nambole Stadium. Nambole Mandela Stadium. Mandela National. Still, Nambole. still under rehabilitation, we cannot count on that one. And then we have Wankunukuku Wan Stadium, Kuku, Kuku, which is the, the name alone will even make people to doubt about it. <laughs> Uh, uh, but away from that, yesterday, uh, the, the team of Bull keeps on giving hard times for the other teams. Uh, the team of Villa, yesterday, again, being beaten by the team of Bull, though in the penal shootout. But Bull, when it comes to domestic trophies, they are, very, uh, they, they are inevitable, unstoppable. Yesterday, after the normal time ending a draw, again, knocking out Sports Club Villa in the penal shootout, did you expect this? Yeah, um, seeing one big thing. Of course, that was the next story I was coming to. But my question is, what was wrong with Sekamate when he was at Arua Hill Sports Club? Now, he is the savior at Bull Football Club. Villa scored first. Sekamate came with an equalizer, which ended it. To that five was the penalty that, of course, Bull won against. That is the team of Sports Club Villa. So what was wrong with him? when he was still at Arua Hill Sports Club. You know, Sekamate, I should say, players, they always perform depending on the uh, atmosphere, environments they are in. Maybe there might be, have been one or two things, challenges he might have been facing at the camp of Arua Hill, and he has found the uh, Bull FC as a very convenient place for him to, uh, to stay. But history always plays its role in football, and there are some clubs, they always take these small, small trophies as a vital thing. You take a look at Arsenal, when it comes to FA Cup, they are not joking, but the English Premier League, they are nowhere to be seen. It so makes, in the uh, English Premier League, they are joking? They, they are joking in English Premier League. It's like a ball, not taking start times within the Premier League ah. title serious, seriously, but when it comes to these other small, small trophies, that's when you will see the best of Bull FC. But second, I understood that was the savior. As I said, I want to put it in short in summer because we need to go for the first half break. Atmosphere is always there and the rango is always there. Maybe he thinks Bull is the best place for him to be at. Exactly.